The focus of the IRC education practice is primarily higher education, that is universities or colleges, but we also work for schools at the senior level, um, as well as organisations that support the higher education sector, particularly technology, online related companies, as well as the high technology um, sector. There are a number of trends that are affecting the education sector globally at this point in time. Firstly, the increased demand for education. The number of undergraduates that are moving through the system over the past 10 years has increased by more than 50% and that's therefore putting an increased demand um, and pressure on the sector. Um, secondly, the willingness of governments, particularly Western governments, to support higher education um, is declining and so that has therefore meant that there's an increasing focus on user pays and the private provision of education. Um, technology is certainly having an impact on the sector. We only have to look at uh, MOOCs which, is developed, which have developed over the last couple of years and their impact in terms of how education is delivered. The growing wealth of developing countries, um, Indonesia, China, um, India, countries in the Middle East has meant that um, the population of those countries is uh, demands um, education, um, puts a high value on education and therefore a number of um, education institutions have expanded and is continuing to expand in those countries. The internationalisation of education, be it staff willingness to move, be it students and also be it the universities and higher education organisations themselves um, are looking at uh, a more global reach in terms of their attraction of students and the deployment of their resources. In searching for talent in the education sector, it's very important to have a global approach. Talent in this sector has always been very international. Academic leaders have always been willing to move to um, destinations globally in order to work for the best colleges and the best universities. Also, many specialisations have a very small uh, number of individuals who could potentially undertake roles. Those individuals could be in the far-flung far reaches of the world. There might only be a very small number of them and they certainly wouldn't be necessarily willing to answer advertisements. So you need to go and search for them. Also, universities and colleges themselves are becoming very international. They are also seeking to improve their rankings. Often the way they will do that is by hiring the best and the brightest. And the best and the brightest mightn't be in their own country, they might need to seek that offshore. IRC delivers three benefits to our clients. Global reach, global knowledge, and global insight. Global reach, the ability to find and attract the best and the brightest wherever they might be in the world. Global knowledge, the ability to tap into local trends, local developments and pass these on to our clients wherever they might be found. Global insight, which is the ability for our clients to tap into the latest, the best, the leading search techniques in the world. Ultimately, IRC delivers local boutique firms dedicated to our clients with the benefits of global organisation and a global organisational reach.